Greetings to all and welcome to our show. It's called Eureka, How a Woman Can Thrive at Any Age. I'm your host, Glenda Shankal, and for decades I've successfully coached thousands of women on discovering a straightforward and easy path to their very own best lives, and I can help you find your best life too. In this show, we cover the most important things in a woman's life, happy relationships and connectivity, career and money choices for your financial freedom, and also beauty and health. Guests on the show are experts in all these areas, and we'll also be talking about how to transform tragedy or heartache into a personal triumph. On Eureka, we'll be covering the things that matter most. You know, as different as we women are, because of where we were born, how we grew up, or were educated, maybe in a university or maybe in a village, it turns out that really we're more alike than different. So no matter where in the world you live, no matter what your lifestyle, you share with other women a longing for love and genuine connection, a need for abundance, money, and personal freedom, and a hope for relationships that work smoothly and bring you joy. And sometimes we struggle with challenges and burdens which can be hard to bear. I'm here to help you with each one of these dreams, needs, and hopes. You are not alone with your deeper questions, and on my website, you'll find tools, tips, and smart action steps to help you live your best life. These are the very same tools I've been offering to my clients for decades. The website's called lovecomeseasily.com. The idea is that love should be easy to find and nourish, and it can and should successfully last a lifetime. So thank you for joining me. And now let's get started. I warmly welcome you to Eureka, How a Woman Can Thrive at Any Age. Before I bring on my wonderful guest today, who's Kelly Polker. Hi, Kelly. How are you today? I'm good, Glenda. How are you? (laughs) Just dandy. Kelly's going to talk with us about cool new ways to think outside the box and how to live a bigger, better life. But I want to talk for just a few minutes about how to adjust gracefully to change. I've watched people that I know over this last month or two struggle with gigantic changes. And I think it's helpful to consider some ways to make change easier to bear. It's a universal situation. Sometimes it feels like we can cope with it. And other times it feels daunting or even hard to weather. It can be hard to swallow the changes that face us, especially when change comes along with extra challenges or life asks you to adjust to accept a trying situation that you've never faced before, maybe an accident or injury or losing your job or the severe illness of somebody that you love, difficulties of that magnitude. One common way that we try to handle change is by controlling things. But our instinct to control situations or events or people beyond a certain very basic point just usually tends to backfire. So many things in our life just can't be controlled because they're not underneath human control. And feeling super frustrated and wishing hard situations were something we could shape to our liking just adds to our stress under pressure. Instead of trying to control a tough situation or change, I try to make a habit of consciously releasing what's not under my control, and I try to keep an eye on that kind of response all the time so I won't be holding on too hard to things that I just can't fix or solve by myself. But there are two things we can all control, our responses to situations and also what we think about when something difficult is happening to us. That old idea of making lemons out of lemonade. One thing that I personally do when faced with something challenging and uncomfortable or difficult is to consciously try to breathe and then consciously look for something good in that situation. One way that I'm benefited by a challenge. I look carefully for at least one advantage to me in the very situation that seems so trying. There are lots of advantages to doing things this way. First, it tends to reduce the overall stress that you might experience under that kind of situation. It creates helpful perspective to keep your mind on the big picture, that things overall are fine and life is pretty good. And also beyond that, it will refocus you when you choose it on appreciation, which can be a powerful antidote to worry 
overwhelm or paying too much attention to what other people are doing, something else is definitely beyond our control anyway. Staying focused on appreciation also will allow you, as it allows me, to offer my best without losing focus on what matters and without making other people responsible for your happiness, which always begins and ends with you. And I hope these tips help you navigate your own difficulties or challenges with a little more ease and grace. So now let's visit with our wonderful guest, Kelly Polker. Welcome to the Eureka Show. How's everything going, Kelly? Doing wonderful. I I love what what you just shared. (laughs) So I'm sitting here thinking about myself and going through through, uh, challenges and... and, uh, you know, learning to learning to not worry about what you can't control. It's good job. It's very it's tricky, isn't it? It's a constant journey. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. So now we get to talk about living a better life and reaching for new solutions that can take us farther than we've ever been and look for new ways to think outside the box. Um, here's some information about Kelly herself. Kelly's the president of Another Eight Hours, where she's been providing top notch business support to services, consulting, coaching, and event management to leading entrepreneurs since 2000. She's a three-time author, including the best-selling book, Virtual Assistant, the series, How to Become a Sought-After, Highly Successful VA. And she has a long history of helping to facilitate dramatic results for her clients while holding them accountable to achieve their business goals and objectives. She's also the producer of Reinvention Radio and Beyond Eight Figures podcast hosted by Steve Olsher, Mary Goulet, and Richard O.T. Kelly, I'm so happy to have you here, and I appreciate you taking the time. I know you have a really busy schedule. Um, You've probably heard the saying that you become like the people you spend time with, right? I sure Um, have. Yeah. So it stands to reason if you want to become a successful person in any way, You've got to learn from successful people how they've come to be where they are. What's your take on that thought that we tend to be most like the people we spend our time with? Um, I would totally agree for, for, for the most part. Um, I, I I can see a difference in just, you know, the group of people that as my business world has grown, um, how my mindset changes and my aspirations and, and um outlook changes on different things it's broad broadens my world and and my perspective on things Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have you as a guest on the show uh from about the moment about the week that the show came into my life because I felt like you're the sort of person who straddles kind of maybe two realities a basic world um you don't strike me as one of those show stopping um stand on the stage and scream for attention kind of successful, hard-driving people at all. You're more behind-the-scenes, soft-spoken, effective, friendly, kindly kind of a person who happens to be pretty successful with an interesting and original life. And and I know that that makes you more like the listeners of the show than somebody who's like made $50 million in business online, for example, okay. although that's mentoring too. So how how do you feel you got to be where you were, uh, uh, where you are? How do you feel you've arrived there so far? Uh, first off, thank you. I, that was a very good observation. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, it, it's just about keeping, to, to keep moving forward on things. Um, you know, I, in every position I've ever had from my very first one, on right out of high school and my first full-time real gig, you know, um, you just soak it all in, learn to be a sponge, deal with the people that you can deal with and keep going. I've always been in a kind of a support role and, um, trying to make the other people look good has always kind of seems to be my, my purpose in, in life. And, um, you know, and I accept that. Uh, do you find it, it seems like that allows you to win too. Do you feel that that's the case? Has that happened, whether you planned it or not? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you take things like the New Media Summit and, and you know, that was a vision that Steve had and, and look what it became and what it's continuing to grow to. And, 
and you know all of the people in the room and and just all of it comes together and when you get the comments you know from people that it's changed their life or you know they've had these breakthrough moments and things like that you know that that just makes it all worthwhile i also think that um we are more than the sum a group of good people is more than the sum of its parts uh, and so when you support someone who's capable and effective, you win and so do they. Would you say that that's the case, sure. what you've experienced? Yeah. Hmm. Absolutely. Hmm. So you're sort of saying find your thing and see what happens and follow it and do the best you can. And that's a great way to create success. Do you think? I would I would say, I mean, you know, I mean, it, it, to say find your thing, you know, um, <laughs> that's always a challenge for me because my thing changes because I just you know I I embrace everything that I get involved in and um, get passionate about and that can change in so many different directions all through the day or month year whatever I love it we're going to take a break here in a moment Uh, we'll come back and jump right in on that very interesting thought process I'm liking this a lot Stay tuned to Eureka, How a Woman Can Thrive at Any Age, which can also be heard on XZBN.net, an X-Zone broadcast network, and also found on lovecomeseasily.com. After the break, we'll find out important secrets about how to enjoy your life more by reaching for greater success, whatever that means to you. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, join me, Rob McConnell, as together we'll investigate the world of the paranormal and the science of parapsychology here on the Exxon Radio TV show on XZBN and the Exxon TV channel on Simul TV. Since 1990, the Exxon Radio TV show has been the place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard. Together, we'll investigate UFOs, aliens, ghosts, Bigfoot, psychic phenomena, lake monsters, conspiracy theories, government cover-ups, the truth embargo, alien abductions, ESP, haunted locations from around the world, and so much more. With over 28 years of broadcasting and more than 4,500 individual guests, the X-Zone is truly a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality, as evidenced by the credibility, integrity, and professionalism of the guests that we bring to our international audience. If you have seen a UFO, had a close encounter, seen a ghost, Bigfoot, lake monster, or a story that you would like to share or have investigated, contact me, Rob McConnell, by sending me your email to xzone at xzoneradiotv.com or you can call toll-free 1-800-610-7035, extension 143, and on Skype, Exxon Radio TV. For more information on the Exxon Radio TV show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, visit www.exxoneradiotv.com or www.exxonetvchannel.com or simultv.com and xzbn.net. Until next we meet here in the X-Zone from our broadcast center and studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Always remember X-Zone Nation. Keep your eyes to the sky and your heart in the light. You have heard of the X-Zone? Now watch it on Simul TV. Plus 500 video games, live TV channels, free video on demand worldwide and more does this sound like tomorrow's television well it is but you can have it today right now it is simul tv simul tv offers what the others only wish they could provide 15 exclusive channels like exxon sci-fi and horror we are worldwide no other provider offers that 500 built-in video games no need to have an extra expensive system we have them included free video on demand live streaming events from around the world, interactive online network, and much more. Tomorrow's TV today, Simul TV. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. You can have Simul TV today. Sign up at simultv.com. Do it today.
So welcome back. I'm Glenda Shankal, and you're listening to Eureka, which is being heard on XZBN.net, the Exxon Radio Network, and can also be found on LoveComesEasily.com. Our guest on this show is Kelly Polker of the podcast radio show Reinvention Radio. The URL for her uh, podcast radio show is www.reinventionradio.com and it's a fabulous name by the name way I've always loved it um, mm-hmm. let's get back to what we were saying Kelly I really like what you said about everything shifting all the time uh, especially when you're is that because of the people that you work with or because of life circumstances what would you say I think it's a combination of everything and, and just um, you know being being adaptable yourself, you can't stay stuck in stuff. Um, you can't sit and dwell on things that you can't control. And when you know when you're presented with different opportunities, then you have to, you know, either explore them or or know based on your own individual goals whether you it's something that you should pursue or not. And so, I think it's a combination of everything. You know, Steve always says that you know life starts over now. And again, right now, <laughs> again, huh. right now. So huh. it, you know, it, it's constantly evolving and, and you have to, I'm, I'm a go with the flow kind of person, huh. but you have to have the goals in mind for where you want to be and, and work toward those at all times, but also be willing to adjust if something else might make more sense for you or, or feel better for you inside. That I'm, sounds like yin and yang together. Do you feel that way? Like this and that at the same time, one thing in its opposite. Work hard, be focused, and then let go and be flexible. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's the way you want to say it. I've never really heard it explained that way, but yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm a more practical word person. I don't, I don't always apply all those right <laughs> things to it, so thank you. <laughs> I've always been impressed, Kelly. Please give, you know, I just, I, I watch you multitask in a way that would make stagger most people's ability um, as I've known you over time. <clears throat> I had another question for you on the same theme, and that was what our success and even our happiness are affected by those around us who we spend our time with, who we work with, and so on. Is that uh, opportunity for success damaged by being around the wrong people too much, meaning negative, naysayers, critical, aggr- emotionally aggressive? What do you feel about that? Um, I definitely agree. Um, it, it's just, um, you know, I think in business, sometimes we tend to stay around some of that negativity a little bit longer than we might like to just because of the circumstances that we're under, um, mm-hmm. you know, whether it be working for working with another client's client or, um, you know, one of the one of their customers in, in my role, when I, you know, I'm working with multiple clients and, and dealing with people in all different realms. It's and in, in under different circumstances. So it gets challenging and you just try to make the best of it. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I have had some clients that I've, I've tried not to let go because I feel like I've attracted some of the top clients, some of the best people that are a fit for me mm-hmm. in my business. Um, you know, I've been in business for going on 19 years and I have, two that I've been working with for, well, three that I've been working with um, for every bit of 15 years out of that. And wow. so it's, you know, it, it's in various capacities and stuff over the time, but it's connect. I used to say I was lucky that I found the clients that I did. And, and one day it dawned on me, it's like, you know what? I'm not lucky. I attracted the right people hmm. and, and it's a fit. And I identified the ones that, you know, were good for me. So so, yeah, I, I think um, I guess that answers your question in a very roundabout way. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So I've noticed that uh, not only negativity, but victimy people, those who always have something bad going on in their life or people who even just wait around for something good to happen to them, which somehow never seems to happen to them. Sure. Um, effect, we're all affected by those conversations we have with people. Um, what do you suggest? I mean, you did kind of say this already, but what do you suggest when you're feeling like you're surrounded by people who aren't going anywhere, you can't find any inspiration? What would be your next step? Would you 
reach for a new circumstance or would you try a new project or would you end a connection? What would you recommend right off the top of your head? I would probably, because I can be a little bit on the control control side, <laughs> uh-huh. I would probably try to change the situation. You know, I'm, I'm a address things head on kind of person. Um, and so I would probably, you know, try to approach that person or, or group and, and, um, make a difference in a, in a change and persuade in one, one more, in a better direction, different direction. Um, otherwise I'd probably phone a friend, get my sanity back and then go back in <laughs> or walk away. You know, you know, when, when you're finally to the point where you're just banging your head against the wall, uh-huh. you, you've got to walk away. It's just, it's not productive and it adds to the stress and, and, um, yeah, that, that was a big reason why I quit, why I finally said goodbye to corporate. It's like, I, I can't do this any, anymore. Uh-huh. It felt unfulfilling and unfruitful, uh, like mm-hmm. you weren't really getting anywhere. Yeah. Well, they mm-hmm. wouldn't let me go anywhere. Wow. So wow. It, it filled two, you know, three whole, it's three people to replace me when I left, and I took part of my job with me. Wow. When I did leave for another year and a half. So, it, uh-huh. you know, when, when they keep you stuck you have to you got to take control and you're yes. you're the only one in control of your own destiny I love and you that. can't sit back and complain and and you know if you don't like your job do something about it either find a way to make it tolerable or find a new job i love it that's pretty profound right there my dear um Let's go back to the first thing I asked you, which was about being around people who we admire or who model powerful things for us to change our lives. When we're around a person who's really good at something, successful in some way, um, somebody who shines or stands out like Steve, for example, or thinks really big, how does that help us to do better ourselves just in our daily life, like in work? How, how, does, how has working with Steve made your life better for you? Oh wow! Um, it, just the the possibilities and and the 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 depth of the people that he's connected to mm-hmm. has been been amazing. I mean, I followed him for years on online, um, you know, just his newsletter and, and all that stuff um, before I ever started working with him. But he's such a great teacher and connector. Mm-hmm. And has such a solid following of people that really, um, really admire him and, mm-hmm. and respect him. And I, and I think that's cool. It, it's great to be a part of it and, and help him, you know, grow and continue and, and to extend the way that he is mm-hmm. um, with everybody's experience with me as well. Mm. To be an that's- extension of, of him and, and his beliefs and. You know, we we have our moments. <laughs> sure, we we balance each other out really well, and uh, uh-huh. it's but but as far as the the people in the in the circles that you run around in and, and what he's done for me, it's it's been great. It's been very eye opening with the types of people. Uh-huh. And I'm I'm a Midwest girl, uh-huh. and uh, there's a whole lot of other people out there doing a whole lot of other things, uh-huh. and thinking and you- in a different way, and and it's been very very eye-opening and you can't change if you keep doing the same thing year after year and hanging around the people who have the same conversations so meeting people who are really fearless in new ways can be very transforming don't you think that's what i've discovered absolutely absolutely Uh we're talking by the way listeners about steve ulsher who's a entrepreneur from way back online he's very forward thinking but he's a soft-spoken um, dynamic man. He's really quite an inspiration in a lot of ways. Um, so we, I came up with a list of five ways to think outside the box, and I wanted to talk about those during the rest of the show. Uh, the first way is to reach for reasonable risks fearlessly because reasonable risks help us dream big and make progress. So what's your take on reasonable risk, Kelly? Um. What is it actually? Right? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I'm a, you know, go big or go home kind of girl. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's so, reasonable to you then. Big risk is reasonable. What do you think? What do you say about risk? 
I think you have to go for it. You know, if you if you sit and 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 wonder about run through all of the what ifs and stuff in your head, you're never going to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. You've got to dip your toe in the water sometimes and and um, and just take a chance. I did that when I when I when I left corporate. I keep going back to that, but I mean that was a major shift for me mm-hmm. in in life. And I left a job I had been at for ten and a half years with full benefits. I had two two young kids at home and my husband too. And thank God he had benefits. Um, but you know, it, it got in the way of my growth and I said, goodbye. I had to do it and I've not looked back. Wow. I love that. So thinking outside the box, taking a risk because you know, it's going to aim you in the right direction and send you on a new path. You've always wanted to live on. And you probably feel differently on the inside. Don't you Kelly, since you left your corporate work about your life in general, just feel stronger and more able. Oh, absolutely. I'm building my own empire now. <laughs> Instead of helping somebody else build theirs. I, in, mm-hmm. in, well, now I'm helping build other empires, but it's in, it's on a different level mm-hmm. and, the, and the respect is so different. And, um, and the doing it together thing is okay time for a break stay tuned to Eureka how a woman can thrive at any age which can also be heard on xcbn.net and Own broadcast network and found on lovecomeseasily.com Broadcast studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, to the world and beyond. You're watching the Exxon Broadcast Network, www.xzbn.net. AVS Media. You have heard of the Exxon? Now watch it on Simo TV, plus 500 video games, live TV channels, free video on demand, worldwide, and more. Does this sound like tomorrow's television? Well, it is, but you can have it today, right now. It is Simul TV. Simul TV offers what the others only wish they could provide 15 exclusive channels like Exxon, Sci Fi, and Horror. We are worldwide. No other provider offers that. 500 built in video games. No need to have an extra expensive system. We have them included. Free video on demand live streaming events from around the world, interactive online network, and much more. Tomorrow's TV today, Simul TV. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. You can have Simul TV today. Sign up at simultv.com. Do it today. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the x Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the x Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere. 24-7-365. Rob McConnell here, presenting an overview for Nicholas Paul Jinnix, author of a fascinating book, Amen. It presents facts revealed by Egyptologists, facts that enable us to understand why Amen is the beginning of creation of God. It provides recommendations for religious leaders of the major religions to unify their beliefs and teach the Word of God, love one another. Amen informs people how mankind conceived God. It was the Egyptians that developed the concepts of a soul, a hereafter, and son of God, and finally, After the worship of many gods, they conceived the belief in one universal God, 
the maker of all there is. For more information, visit www.futureofgodamen.com. That's www.futureofgodamen.com. So welcome back. I'm Glenda Shankal, and you're listening to Eureka, How a Woman Can Thrive at Any Age. This show is heard on the Exxon Radio Network and can be found at lovecomeseasily.com. Our guest on this show today is Kelly Polker, who produces a wonderful online podcast, which is called Reinvention Radio, and you can find it at www.reinventionradio.com. So I'm loving this conversation, Kelly, because I, I, I've i never told you this. Kelly and I have known each other, what, about a year and a half or something like that now, I think? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And um, I immediately noticed her because of her effectiveness behind the scenes and making um, making everything work for the big faces who were doing the sort of out there work, right? So the people running the event, the people hosting, the people... Um, doing all the on-stage work and the, I don't know, the sort of the big stuff. And Kelly's Kelly makes things happen behind the scenes in lots of ways and has lots of roles. Um, so putting all the pieces together, I've watched her do that, and that's, I just, I've been taking notes. Because I, I also feel, Kelly, that um, watching other people and supporting them is a good way to learn new skills and then do your own thing when the time comes. Now, were mm-hmm. you doing that in corporate too? Were you, did you have that role in corporate or did that happen when you left your job? With the meeting and event planning, you mean? I'm um, doing sort or- of supporting behind the scenes stuff and then doing your own thing. Um, yes, definitely. I've always been in, uh, I mean, when I, I worked for the sales, I was a sales marketing coordinator for a major, a major manufacturer. And so, you know, it was keeping all the sales guys in line and, and helping keep the marketing department going with, you know, my boss there. And, and it's, it's always been, um, yeah, make it, you know, kind of getting the systems and things like that in place and, and making sure that people are accountable for what they're supposed to be doing. And if if not, everything doesn't work right. So, Mm -hmm. so you've had that role for a long time and how is, Mm -hmm. um, watching other people do their daily jobs, change the way that you work or what you dream about accomplishing, what effect has it had on your bigger dreams? Um, yeah, I'm I'm an observer. I watch and 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 sit back and and look at things, and then kind of filter out what may work for me based on who I am and and what may not. Um, sometimes I get challenged with that to try to do things outside of my own box, and I may um, put up a little resistance and then try to, I you know I have to talk myself through things sometimes and be like, okay, you're being stupid. Or you're being stubborn, or you're mm-hmm. trying to control it to go your way, and you can't do that. So, you know, try it somebody else's way. Um, mm-hmm. That that's hard to do, especially when you're. I, Sally Joe O'Brien has me getting into this. My, it, it, accepting my my inner control freak. I guess. Wow. <laughs> so I'm trying to be a little bit better about. Yeah, I could do that. Wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. It's a very helpful thought. So um, uh, taking reasonable risk, you strike me as someone who's, like, for example, uh, producing a podcast, that's about as far out of the corporate box as you could go, uh, I guess, one of the ways to go really far outside the corporate box. did you? How did that come to you? Is that just part of your... A role at supporting others, or did somebody ask you to do it? How did it emerge for you? I morphed into that in my work with Steve because he he had a radio show back in Chicago, mm-hmm. and uh, it was actually Trust Your Radio, and he was wanting to get back into it, and already had some interviews that he had in the can, and and we ended up you know just pulling it together. I I my work with Mary Goulet started way back in 2001 or whatever and um she was on I actually first met her through an interview she and then she followed that with a series on um 
on virtual assistants and and how to use them effectively. And so we kind of connected, started working together. She was always in the the WS Radio Studios and then went to Momstown TV. So I've always been kind of in in tune with it with her. Mm-hmm. So it was easy to transition into with Steve mm-hmm. when the time came. So what I'm hearing here is that when you kind of go further than your comfort zone, you left your corporate job, you met some strong people, you worked with them, um, those opportunities morphed into bigger opportunities and new changes and skill sets that maybe you didn't know you had in the beginning. And you kind of worked your way toward transformation by working with people who were creative and inventive and brave. Uh, I think Steve's really brave. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't you think? Oh yeah, I, I I would totally agree. And just you know the the creative minds and I'm a thinker, a big picture thinker. But then I also like to have things in in order. And, uh-huh. Um, so it it I sometimes I fight my own my I fight myself because <laughs> like okay, got all these ideas coming out, but okay, wait, you got to hold them in because you just can't bring anything else on. But oh, this sounds really good. <laughs> and so, so that, you know, learning to, to kind of reel it in and, and have that control and, um, be the bigger, you know, take the risk where you, where you want to, I don't, you know, I don't know. It's, it still mm-hmm. comes back to the whole kind of go with your flow, go with the mm-hmm. flow thing and what makes sense at mm-hmm. the time. And balancing, right. Not doing, right. biting off more than you can chew maybe. Huh. Yeah. Mary and I was. Um, you know, have joked before, not not joked about it, but I I don't believe that there's any such thing as balance. Really, it's about juggling all the right stuff in the air at the same time. Oh, I love and, that. I've never heard anybody say that, but I that's my life experience. Balance is kind of a ha ha thing, right? As if sure, <laughs> right? That's one of those pie in the sky things. So huh. no, it's it. I I kind of learned that term a, a little bit from from Mary I think it might be in one, might even be in one of her books but yeah there's no such thing as balance that's so interesting so the next way to think outside the box is to just keep trying to find ways to get where you want to go instead of giving up or taking the easy way and going back to your old habits I know sometimes when we're on the edge of our comfort zone we just kind of want to go back to what's safe um in this context we're context we're talking about staying persistent even when things aren't easy and learning as you go along. So what would you say about that, Kelly? You sort of talked about that when you said there's no such thing as balance, it's an illusion. What about staying persistent even when things aren't easy? How's that work for you? I think I'd I'd like to say that I try. <laughs> Am I always successful at it? Probably not. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it even just short of because I sit in an office by myself all day, you know, there's nobody else here to necessarily kick me in the pants or point me in the right direction. So I do talk to myself in in those ways <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> to just, you know, kind of keep myself in check sometimes mm-hmm. or question myself about, you know, are you really sure you're going to do this? But then I'm also a, I'm a gut thinker. And um, another great trait that I learned from Miss Mary Goulet and her go with your gut system. Uh-huh. But it's um, a lot of people don't understand how that line of thinking works. And to be able to, to trust it and go with it without question makes it seem like you're um, you're not demanding of people, but they don't understand. It makes you seem flippant, but it. It's a very. It's more about being confident in the decisions that you're making and the mm-hmm. directions that you're going. Does that make sense? And instead of doing what everybody else might recommend or what the safe path might be, you're saying trust your instincts. If if you need to take a risk, take a risk and just do it. Absolutely, I love Absolutely. that. Absolutely, and I, I'm not a you know, one of my pet peeves is to tell me that everybody. We've been doing it this way for 15 years and it right. works. It drives me nuts. Like, I hate that too. Here's a different way. <laughs> Right. It's small minded. Like right, wrong, right or wrong. It's just different. Uh-huh. Let's give it a shot. Right. And you don't make progress if you keep doing things the way you did them 15 years ago, usually, right? Huh. Right. Right. <laughs> Let's not forget about that. This <laughs> is a good, sorry. <laughs> 
it's a good time to talk about self-doubt and how it limits success. I think some self-doubt is something we all face at times when we're too far out of our comfort zone or a little unsure of the next step. What what would you say about overcoming self-doubt, Kelly? I, I can say that it can be overcome. Uh-huh. Uh, it, just, it's just di- looking, you know, digging deep inside and finding the confidence that you need in yourself and, mm-hmm. and the reassurance that, you know, hey, you can do it. You got this far. You've accomplished this. You've accomplished that or whatever the case may be. And, and you just have to keep moving forward. Hmm. So just um, I find momentum is a good uh, antidote to self-doubt. The momentum of a project carries me forward, for example, or a new idea that will that can create a lot of change and action. And then I keep moving into the change in action. And self-doubt is something that only comes up occasionally when you're busy with projects and clients and work. Uh, mm-hmm. You don't have to deal with it as much, don't you think so? Right. I, I totally agree and was thinking that myself that, you know, when, when you're super busy at work and, and or in life, you don't have time to think about that. So maybe that's why I like to stay busy, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, it, it just I don't have time to worry about those kinds of things. You just got to mm-hmm. keep going forward. Yeah, just keep moving. And then, oops, there's a wonderful success that just happened because I was so busy with my projects and efforts um, that it just came to fruition. Something good happened, mm-hmm. right? So instead of right. focusing, just staying busy almost, huh? Trusting your instincts. I love it. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, and it, things are going to go wrong sometimes. I, I'm not saying I live in this perfect world and everything I touch turns to gold and there's no no setbacks because, you know, that would that wouldn't be realistic yeah it's uh, it's good that's why we're talking about this because it's possible to succeed no matter what you're doing and how far out of the box you are we need to take our last break stay tuned to eureka on xebn.net and lovecomeseasily.com you have heard of the x zone now watch it on simul tv plus 500 video games live tv channels free video on demand worldwide and more does this sound like tomorrow's television well it is but you can have it today right now it is simul tv simul tv offers what the others only wish they could provide 15 exclusive channels like Zone, sci-fi and horror we are worldwide no other provider offers that 500 built-in video games no need to have an extra expensive system we have them included Free video on demand, live streaming events from around the world, interactive online network, and much more. Tomorrow's TV today, Simul TV. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. You can have Simul TV today. Sign up at simultv.com. Do it today. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, join me, Rob McConnell, as together we'll investigate the world of the paranormal and the science of parapsychology here on the Exxon Radio TV show on XZBN and the Exxon TV channel on Simul TV. Since 1990, the Exxon Radio TV show has been the place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard. Together, we'll investigate UFOs, aliens, ghosts, Bigfoot, psychic phenomena, lake monsters, conspiracy theories, government cover-ups, the truth embargo, alien abductions, ESP, haunted locations from around the world, and so much more. With over 28 years of broadcasting and more than 4,500 individual guests, the X-Zone is truly a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality, as evidenced by the credibility, integrity, and professionalism of the guests that we bring to our international audience. If you have seen a UFO, had a close encounter, seen a ghost, Bigfoot, lake monster, or a story that you would like to share or have investigated, contact me, Rob McConnell, by sending me your email to xzone at xzoneradiotv.com or you can call toll-free 1-800-610-7035, extension 143, and on Skype, Exxon Radio TV. For more information on the Exxon Radio TV show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, visit www. 
exoneradiotv.com or www.exonetvchannel.com or simultv.com and xzbn.net. Until next we meet here in the Exxon from our broadcast center and studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Always remember Exxon Nation. Keep your eyes to the sky and your heart in the light. Welcome back. I'm Glenda Shankal, and you're listening to Eureka. Before we get back to our cool guest, who's Kelly Polker, I want to remind listeners they can find Eureka at the Exxon Radio Network and also at lovecomeseasily.com. And if you've loved this conversation with Kelly, then tune into the show she produces, which is called Reinvention Radio. You can find it at www.reinventionradio.com. So this is kind of a fun and interesting way, Kelly, to talk about thinking outside the box. I think the conversation itself is a little bit out of the box, and I like that a lot. <laughs> right? Funny, that's, funny thing. That's me. Sorry. I love it. This is so fun. I'm pretty WYSIWYG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So we're talking and trying to think about how to do it wisely and well and successfully, thinking outside the box. So let's talk about brainstorming when faced with a challenge and how looking with an open mind or brainstorming can help us create new solutions in new ways. Um, Do you think you actually use brainstorming? Is your mind always moving towards solutions and problem solving? What do you think when you're faced with a challenge? Absolutely. I'm a solution finder. Mm -hmm. and. I'm always looking for for the how and how, how to make something happen. I teach my kids that too um, as best I can. You know, don't sit and, and ask yourself why, why, why me, why me, why we, you know, how am I going to get through this? It's how, how am I going to get over this or how am I going to figure this out? You mm-hmm. know, keep, keep searching. It seems like a fundamental Um, There's two kinds of people fundamentally, in spite of all the other differences. The main two differences I've noticed, like it's success, as far as success goes, is the successful person will say, well, here's a problem, how do we solve it? Whereas a lot of people will say, well, there's a problem and it's kind of blocking my path. And it doesn't almost seem like they're even thinking of a solution. Have you experienced that? Yes, those are the ones I want to just take by the cheeks and say, get out of your way. Get out of your own way. <laughs> you right? Know? It's like, just stop and get over it. But people, you know, and this has been the biggest eye opener for me probably in the last year it, mm. because of, you know, how my my circle has grown with, with so many people that, you know, I mean, not everybody thinks like me. Not everybody's capable of thinking like me mm. and, and. So it's hard for me to understand where they are, whereas in the same token, it's hard for them to understand where I am. You know, how can you, my my daughter gets mad at me all the time. You can't be positive Polly all the time. Like, no, and I'm not saying that I'm not sad or things, you know, things don't get me discouraged, but I'm going to keep looking for the good Uh and and try to find the solution. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think um, you could almost say, and I've never heard anyone say this, it's a new idea for me too, um, the shorter amount of time you spend worrying about the problem, the more quickly you can transform a challenge into an opportunity. So just moving as quickly as possible to the solution thinking. Do you think so? Is that what you oh, feel? Yeah. I like. Yes, I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you can spend months or years wallowing and I know some things are really tough and, and they can be anguishing, but looking for that bright spot or whatever. Um, aside from brainstorming solutions, uh, talking to people who are skillful at that at that approach, um, like, for example, I have someone that I call when I need a title who lives in New York. I'm on the phone with him and I'll say, here's what I'm trying to create. And he'll say, oh, it's a terrible title. And I say, I know that's why I'm calling you. What <laughs> title do you suggest? Right. And he'll always have a great idea really fast. And I don't have that skill set, mm-hmm. but he's got it. So what do you have to say about working with people who are good at things that weren't, that you're not strong at? How does that work for you and helped you think outside the box? 
Oh, I think it's great. Um, you know, I have have an, a, a cohort in crime, I, as I refer to, um, that I've been working with since I started my business. And you know, we, we're connected on Facebook probably every minute of the day in case one of us needs to bounce something off, off of the other or, um, you know, maybe do a little vent or what. I'm going to run an idea past you. Or what do you think about this? And so it's nice to um, nice to have that person there mm-hmm. to be able to do it, or to toward to validate sometimes what you're thinking. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I really like that. I think that entrepreneurial work is inherently risky. Uh, like mm-hmm. you say, you give up the corporate work, you give up the insurance, you give up the nine to five, whatever it is, and then you're on your own, having to create a life around yourself with your own money, your income, your business ventures. It's a lot to deal with and juggle. So, talk about how having the right support person helps you to continue to think outside the box. How has that worked for you? Oh, I think it's great. Um, yeah, I mean, and that's that's the crux of my whole business. Um, Huh. Actually, you know, with with another eight hours, as far as how I operate, it's you know, it's being that partner with an with another business owner, and that that's what my tagline is. Actually, is you know, we're not just a virtual assistant; we're your business partner, and and it's because you can find the support and and an extension of of your company or you and and share the same beliefs and philosophies and and know their goals and objectives, so that you're all working together mm-hmm. toward the common goal and to to be successful or to grow the business grow a readership or what, whatever the case may be and mm-hmm. having the confidence in that person and I mean I'm a picky I'm a, I'm a hard one to to work with as far as I'm very picky about who I work with mm-hmm. because they need to have that same mentality and mindset and and business ethics and um, integrity that I do because that's what's built the success of my business. Mm. And right. so anybody I bring on my team has to be that way. And it's oddly enough, it's very hard to find. I, I've discovered that too. I have exactly the same experience. I also feel that uh, when you work with someone who's good, uh, has strengths you don't have, and you support each other, They've got momentum going and you can pick up your momentum if you're lagging or you're in doubt or you don't know what to do next and vice versa. When they're kind of having a yep. slump, uh, they've got your momentum to carry them. So this also works in life, don't you think so? It's a great way to set up relationships. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I have um, I have a lot of friends, a lot of, a lot of good friends, my best friends. They all serve a different purpose in my life. Mm-hmm. And um, there's probably not one of them that knows every single thing about me, mm-hmm. and that baffles yeah. all of them. <laughs> but it's true. It's you know, and and you learn to work with people because you adjust to the way that they are. Mm-hmm. You know, I know certain things I can say to certain people because they're they're going to be able to accept it, or they're not going to say anything to anybody else, or you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, and and they just. I have a different purpose. Mm. It seems to me now, reflecting on the conversation we've had, that you have a really uncanny ability. I would say that what we're really talking about is surrounding yourself with the right ideas, people, situations, and support to succeed at whatever matters the most to you. And this continually pushes you outside the box, but then you get support as you're working your way toward a better life in business or a personal life. And that's the difference between people who have a happy life or feel good in life and those who flounder or who get stuck or who stay victim or wonder what happened. It seems like there's a lot of momentum in this process, even though we don't always know what we're doing. Does that feel to you like what's happened, Kelly? Yes, you always say it so eloquently. <laughs> I <laughs> ramble in my little sentences, but um, yes, I would, I would, I would totally agree with that. I, huh. I, I, I think so. I think you hit the nail on the head. I think that we're. I'm a much better person, a lot stronger and more confident, and also softer. Uh, since I became an entrepreneur than I was back in the day when I was playing it safe. Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, to sum up here toward the end of the show. If you were to distill something that you've learned that's 
pushed you outside the box or lifted you outside the box, what would you have to say about that and the effect it's had on your life? Um, I would probably say something along the lines of, and probably my character, our in, integrity, mm-hmm. um, and and your ethics can go a long way. Mm. And being honest with yourself, as far as you know, I mean, I can be a perfectionist, but I know I screw up, and I can accept that I screw up. Do I like it? No. Do I beat myself up? over it more than anybody else would yes but that's my own little internal battle Mm -hmm. um but i i think just you know being being honest and live a life of integrity be authentic i love it i love it uh and then achieve success on the way sort of accidentally or serendipitously this has been a wonderful show, Kelly. I think this is, we've been having a conversation about having this show for months, and I, I'm loving it. Thank you so much for being with us today. Um, I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. It's, it's been fun. Good. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Kelly's website address, once again, is www.reinvention.com. Reinvention so, Radio. ReinventionRadio.com. Can't even read my own writing. Um <laughs> I got your back. <laughs> so guests, would you like to, um, and listeners, would you like to know how to live your best possible life? Tune in often and find out exactly how. Would you like to strengthen your relationships, expand abundance and money, improve your health, or even become more beautiful than you used to be? I'm Glenda Shankal, your host for Eureka, How a Woman Can Thrive at Any Age, which can be heard every weekday at various hours right here on XEBN.net radio and Zone radio station. For all days and times of Eureka, go to www.xebn.net and check out our broadcast schedule. Want to know how to make life more beautiful? Visit my website, thelovecomeseasily.com. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, join me, Rob McConnell, as together we'll investigate the world of the paranormal and the science of parapsychology here on the Exxon Radio TV show on XZBN and the Exxon TV channel on Simul TV. Since 1990, the Exxon Radio TV show has been the place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard. Together, we'll investigate UFOs, aliens, ghosts, Bigfoot, Psychic phenomena, lake monsters, conspiracy theories, government cover-ups, the truth embargo, alien abductions, ESP, haunted locations from around the world, and so much more. With over 28 years of broadcasting and more than 4,500 individual guests, the X-Zone is truly a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality, as evidenced by the credibility, integrity, and professionalism of the guests that we bring to our international audience. If you have seen a UFO, had a close encounter, seen a ghost, Bigfoot, lake monster, or a story that you would like to share or have investigated, contact me, Rob McConnell, by sending me your email to xzone at xzoneradiotv.com or you can call toll-free 1-800-610-7035, extension 143, and on Skype, Exxon Radio TV. For more information on the Exxon Radio TV show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, visit www.exxoneradiotv.com or www.exxonetvchannel.com or simultv.com and xzbn.net. Until next we meet here in the X-Zone from our broadcast center and studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Always remember X-Zone Nation. Keep your eyes to the sky and your heart in the light. You have heard of the X-Zone? Now watch it on Simul TV. Plus 500 video games, live TV channels, free video on demand worldwide and more does this sound like tomorrow's television 
Well, it is, but you can have it today, right now. It is Simul TV. Simul TV offers what the others only wish they could provide. 15 exclusive channels like Exxon, Sci Fi, and Horror. We are worldwide. No other provider offers that. 500 built in video games. No need to have an extra expensive system. We have them included. Free video on demand. Live streaming events from around the world. Interactive online network and much more. Tomorrow's TV today. Simul TV. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. You can have Simul TV today. Sign up at simultv.com. Do it today.